And now we head over to the Ed DeFore Sports Complex where the Pike County Trojans took the field for the first time since the passing of Dylan Thomas. And the captains carry out Dylan Thomas's jersey onto the field for the coin toss. And check this right here. Uh, Rutland's going to take a knee there in honor of Dylan. And now on to the action. Pike's first drive, Marsh Buford handing to Jameer Reed, who cuts and drives his way in for the touchdown. Extra point good, 7-0 Pirates. That was the only score of the first quarter. Start of the second now, and uh, Buford's coming up. He's going to snap the ball. He's scrambling. Eventually, he's going to throw the ball away. Kind of like that. But a flag would be thrown. Ends up being two fouls, holding on the Pirates, and intentional grounding, also on Pike, and that means a safety. So clap your hands, Mr. Referee, after you do those other things. There, there you go. go. Score is now 7-2. Pirates fans love how their boys are playing tonight. Buford is going to call Reed's number yet again. And what a night for this young man. He oh, breaks whoa. away again. And this touchdown would make it 28-2. Pike County and the cheerleaders are fired up and celebrating. But Pike still had one more score in him before the half. Buford is going to toss to Gerald Hines, and he somehow Whoa. catches that pitch, then finds his way into the end zone. 34-2 at the half, Zaxby's FFN scoreboard. The safety was it. Other than that, it is Pike County, 48-2.